Hi my loves and thanks for watching one of my videos. It's Brown Eyed Butte, but my real name is Stephanie just in case you didn't know. But you can just call me Steph. Um, in today's video I am going to show you part 2 of this Tiffany Blue wig. I'm going to actually show you how to install it glueless. Cause girl, me and glue do not work. So I'm starting off without my makeup already done off camera. Um, I'm just showing you how my hair looks now. It's just in two little plaits. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning off the area. Um, I did this before. Got all the way to putting on the gel. And found out my camera wasn't recording. So this is the second time I'm having to do this. So that's why you see that it's like a lot that I have to actually clean off this time. But that's okay. Um, what we're doing now is I'm going to go ahead and slick. Um, all of my little short hairs and baby hairs and all that good stuff out of the way. Um, I'm just taking um, this Herbal Essence Mousse. This is my favorite mousse that I use. You can use whatever mousse of your desire. You can even use um, Edge Tamer, Edge Control, whatever the case may be. All that good stuff. All you just want to do is just slick it out of the way. Um, just to make sure that they stay in place, I'm using hairspray. Um, this is the Got To Be Free Spray. Um, you can use any hairspray of your choice. I normally uh, do the combo of the same flavor of the Herbal Essence um, and use that um, hairspray version. And now I'm just going to go ahead and dry that and make sure that everything is molded into place exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so boom. So here is the star of the show herself. This is the Tiffany Blue wig um, that we made um, in the previous video with the watercolor method. Um, once again, showing you the inside. I already put my foundation color on the um, the actual um, part section. I'm just showing you like now, like with the makeup and stuff like this, like how, come on, focus. There we go. How scalp-like it actually looks. It is really amazing. I love this lace. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and oh girl psych what you doing we need wig cap first so first we're gonna actually put the wig cap on like I said I previously recorded this and well I previously did this like two minutes before this and forgot I and didn't realize I was recording so I already put the foundation on the wig cap as well um and so we're gonna slick that back I don't do the ball cap method because your girl ain't got time for that that's like a whole like three hour day process that I just don't have time for so now we're gonna pop on this wig I'm going from back to front um, and what I like to do with the very first install of a new wig is I like to keep the lace on um, the actual wig before like the excess lace on the actual wig before um, I cut it off um, because it actually helps me put everything exactly into place and it makes sure that um, everything is actually like where I want it to be so what I'm doing now is I'm just clipping um, the front hair out of the way so that it doesn't get in the way of the gel that we're going to use Cause like I said this is glueless your girl don't flex with gel um, it just like I get bumps and stuff like that and then it just I I'm sorry y'all I just don't flex with it um, <laughs> so we're using the yellow got to be glued gel Unfortunately, I couldn't find my black one because I really don't flex with this one either. Um, it's just too thick for me. Um, and then it leaves like that, like when you take off the wig, it leaves like that like thick white layer on top of it and it takes forever to have to clean. I like the black tube. People say they like this one because it's water because it's water resistant, waterproof. They a lie. Gots to be because the company is a liar. This thing is not, it is not water resistant. It's not resistant of nothing. It's just thick. Um but anyway, I'm just spreading that like some butter, making sure it's nice and an even layer. And I'm going to go ahead and blow dry for days. Like I said, we just want to make sure that this, I didn't say that. But well, the goal is to make sure that it's nice and tacky. Um, you don't want um, to <clears throat> have it still like wet when you put the actual wig on right there in that place just because it's going to take forever for it to actually move and then when you start walking and doing the styling process that thing is going to start moving girl and we we're not trying to be clockable we're not trying to have something shift so we're just going to keep blow drying blow drying blow drying honestly blow, blow dried for like 15 minutes i even took a facetime call bff call giving me the gossip 
Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the excess lace and we're gonna pull that wig exactly where we want it to be. I'm gonna first start off with the middle section because that's the most important to me and then work my way to ear to ear. Um, pressing in with my finger first um, the, um, the wig and then I go in with a comb and what I'm doing is um, I'm combing out the actual hair because what what tends to happen sometimes too is um, after you um, put the the wig on and you like tie it down and like you have it set and stuff like that your if you don't comb out the hair out out of where you're placing it at and before you like before you set it it's going to set the hair up that way too like if you know what I'm saying so so like what will happen is you'll have like hairs that are like completely stuck to the wig and it's like looking hella crazy um and it's gonna be really hard to comb it out without having to um shift the wig you know what I'm saying so I like to comb as I'm sticking the wig on and now I'm just taking just a regular scarf like I told you we were gossiping um I'm just taking just a regular scarf that I normally use to tie my hair down your girl finally upgraded from um the stock from my pantyhose um, so I'm taking an actual scarf, um, the one I normally use, um, and I'm going to go ahead and tie, um, the perimeter of my head, um, with, like I said, I'm still using the lace, that's the extra lace that's still on the wig, and I'm going to go ahead and, um, tie this bad boy down. I like to tie it as tight as I possibly, like, tight as I really can, it just really helps with the setting process and making sure that everything is set into place exactly where I want it to be, and the wig's not going to be moving at all especially those little ear tabs you know all right calm down judge judy calm down judy so here we are 30 minutes later um we're gonna go ahead and take this off see as you can see everything looks exactly how we had it there aren't any hairs um into place um there are a few little baby hairs i'm just gonna comb them out of the way um now uh, that are like the full flyaways and then repin my hair back because we're gonna go into the cutting process now so when I'm cutting the lace I like to cut in very small sections um, when it's actually on my head I like to call it cut in very small sections because this ain't real hair girl this ain't real like you know scalp once it's cut it's cut and if if, if it ain't there it ain't there it ain't growing back it ain't coming back so I like to just really take my time with this part and just cut in really small sections and get as close to the hairline as possible with still leaving myself just a little bit of room left for just future installs um and then also making it just as natural as i possibly can even though girl we are here looking like a whole smurf ain't nothing natural about this and like always you want to cut like in that little zigzag motion just because it gives a more realistic hairline um and all that good stuff What I'm doing now is as you can see there's like a little dent from where the hair is and like there's like a big piece of excess lace right here. Um, what I'm doing is just I'm um, lifting up where um, there was gel at and I'm going to go ahead and just cut um, some of the excess um, um, lace off. And now for the fun part. Yay! Can you sense my sarcasm? <laughs> now we're doing the um, ear tabs. I'm cutting off the actual section of them. I honestly hate doing my ear tabs. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Because um, if you don't do it right, what'll happen is you'll end up cutting hair instead of lace. You know what I'm saying? Like it's happened to me before. Um, and so I just really, 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 really go extremely slow right here um, on this part and try to figure out try to finesse something out of nothing girl Okay, so boom, there we have it. Boom, shaka like a boom, shaka like a boom, boom, shaka like a boom, shaka like a boom. Okay, go ahead, bad bag, give me 50 feet, girl. Okay, here we go. 
So now that this bad boy is already on, what we're gonna do, I'm not a baby hair girl. Y'all should know this by now. I am not a baby hair girl. Um, for all my new friends, I'm not a baby hair girl. I don't like baby hair, I don't like it. Not even my real hair. Unless I'm doing like a ponytail or something like that. And it's just like, you know, make my head something. But um, <clears throat> not really the biggest fan of baby hair, but this is my first time actually doing a full color, like all the way to the roots like i normally do like a rooted um color no matter what color if you even if you have a blue wig like a deep blue wig i just always just have some type of root just to make it na more natural so um i'm gonna go ahead and finesse some baby hairs um you know try to make you know something out of nothing turn water and turn wine water into wine over here get my little jesus on and do something i'm using the same mousse from before that i used on um my baby here i took them out the way um, i'm just gonna put some on i did put some on the brush put too much